This pumpkin pie is full of flavor and spice and has a lovely smooth texture. It's simple to make and with a few tips and tricks, you'll be on your way to the perfect pumpkin pie for the holidays. Hi, I'm Lindsay from Life, Love & Sugar and today we're making a homemade pumpkin pie. All right, so to make your pie, you're gonna to wanna to start with your crust. You can use a refrigerated store-bought crust or a homemade pie crust. I'm gonna be working with a homemade crust today. So we will go ahead and get this rolled out and put into our pie pan. All right, so if you do wanna make your own pie crust, I have the full recipe and tutorial for that on my site. But regardless of what crust you're using, once you have your crust ready to go, we're gonna put it in our pie plate. We'll work this down into our pie plate. All right, so now you can do your edges however you like, however you wanna decorate them, crimp them, flute them, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and flute them. All right, so once you have your pie crust set up in your pan the way you like it, we can pop that in the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes to firm up, and then we're going to blind bake it. Okay, so once your pie crust is chilled and ready to go, we're going to add our pie weights or whatever you like to use for blind baking your pie. I'm gonna add my parchment paper, and then I like to use rice. And we're actually gonna work this down into the pie crust. Okay, so we are going to pop this in the oven and do a full blind bake, not really a partial one, a full one. So I'm gonna bake it until it's just starting to turn golden around the edges. And then I'll remove the pie weights in the center and bake it about five more minutes until it's kind of fully baked. You just don't wanna make it too golden because you will be baking it again with the pie filling in there and you don't want it to end up overly browned. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. All right, so while your crust is baking, you're going to want to make the pumpkin pie filling. We are going to start with our pumpkin puree, canned pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, brown sugar, and your eggs. All right, now we will add the rest of our ingredients. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, salt, and our cornstarch. Now, one thing that's really important to keep in mind about this pie is that you really want your cold ingredients to be room temperature. After testing this pie over and over and over and making it all kinds of ways, aside from over baking your pie, the number one reason that it would crack is if your um, cold ingredients are not room temperature or even slightly warmer. You definitely don't wanna add them cold. And last but not least, we have our heavy cream and milk. Okay, so when you've got this ready, you wanna wait for your pie crust to come out of the oven. You're gonna put this immediately into the hot crust. The hot crust and that heat will help keep your filling from soaking into your crust so that you don't end up with a soggy crust. All right, we're gonna pop this back in the oven. It'll bake for about 40 to 50 minutes. About halfway through, you wanna add your pie crust shield on top so that you don't burn your crust. All right, so after your pie is done baking, you'll take it out of the oven and let it sit at room temperature for a couple hours until it comes to room temperature. Then you can serve it or you can pop it in the fridge and let it chill even further. This pie is chilled and ready to go, ready to serve to your guests. It's wonderful to make ahead. It's delicious. You are going to love it. For the full recipe, head over to lifeloveandsugar.com.